Right, so it's gig day. Uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm just about to go and pick up the hire car from Enterprise in Reading. Uh, and then I've got to drive to Southampton for a rehearsal this afternoon. And then we've got the gig tonight. The PA was picked up yesterday by uh, our guitar player, singer, Steeny. So I had to prep all that yesterday and get it ready. And he came and picked up in the afternoon. And so it begins. So yeah, 10 o'clock and we're off. Let's see how the rest of the day goes. Here we are. Right then, picked up the car, all good. Better car than I'd booked actually. Um, so yeah, off to Southampton now. Rehearsal in just over an hour, so hopefully the traffic's not too bad. Let's get on the road. Okay, we've arrived. River Studios, we're only 26 minutes late to the rehearsal because of horrendous traffic, but it is the first day of the, well, first weekend of the school holidays, so the M3 was pretty rammed. So anyway, we better get in there, get set up, and uh, get rehearsing. I'm late, chaps. Yeah, that's a bit all oh, right, Sally. You've got it on tape now. You've got a public apology. I have got a public apology. <laughs> Greg on the drums. Oh, right. good. Sorry, I'm late. No worries, Terrible mate. traffic. But yes, I will sort my bass out, yep. which I'm let's using the Stingray it. this weekend. Let's get on it. And uh, yeah, let's have a bit of a Stingray. bit of a rehearsal. <laughs> So little, little tea break. Little tea break, bit of breather and it's heat. This stuff will rot your teeth and your insides, but it's so tasty. <laughs> I like the zero stuff personally. And it's good for you because it's full of the green labels. I read somewhere that that had nonsense, that, that artificial sweeteners stimulate your body into thinking that they're um, getting sugar and they're not. And so they create all the reactions, produce excess insulin and things. Wow. And there's nothing to digest, so your body actually can trick it. So it's best just to have full sugar and just poison yourself that way. <laughs> These are our rock and roll conversations when we're at the studio. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty that successful. That was good. Yeah. In the end, I, I, I got it together. I just need to. No, oh, I think more Coca Cola. More yes. Coca Cola. Greg's Greg's gone to empty himself. We're going to pack up. That's a lot of detail. That is a lot of detail. And uh, right, let's pack all this up and go and have some lunch, and then go and load in the PA. Oh, right, you're back. Yeah. And just take these down, and then in a couple of hours, I can put it all back up again. So in, the, between, in between bites of burger. The the D-rig. The D-rig has begun. D-rig begun. So, next stop, Steam Town. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Can we uh, look at getting some roadies at some point soon as well? Let's go and look at these uh, Yeah, you can pay for them if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put that sort of picture there, is it? That's, uh, yeah, no, that's I think that's a house one. Yeah, that's the 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 one. Right. Oh, I Let's get out of here. Let's. Oh, 
to the worst bit, loading the cars. And then unloading the cars and then reloading the cars. Hmm. Well, that's the life, isn't it? Fit in You're travelling light. That's all I need. <laughs> really, I want a V drum kit. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, well, it's a shame we're not playing there. That'd be really convenient, wouldn't it? Easy, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's leg it. Right, set list. Set list. Back at Greg's. Cup of tea. Time. We've got a couple of hours. Now we need to do the set list. For tonight. So, what are we going to play? <laughs> what have we got? I don't know. Okay, mate. Set list is done. Minus one song. Minus one song. We've got a gap. We've got a gap in the set list. I'm missing a song. Well, this is the set list. Uh, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, we have got one bullfrog. Mm. Yeah, maybe we could do bullfrog blues. It does go on a bit though. All right. Well, let's see when we get there. But at least this way, we won't be having those awkward conversations on stage of what's next. <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? What do we do? Okay, drums are in. Most of the drums. It's pretty. It's pretty rammed in this car. How much more have we got to go? We need a van. 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 Couldn't get a van. This is as best as we got. So what we're gonna have to do. Oh, we don't know if we need to take that. I'm just gonna drop this stuff off down the pub because it's only five minutes away, and then we can come back and do a second run, and then later tonight we can leave the drum kit there and pick it up in the morning. Right, let's do it. All right, here we are in the brewery. Time to unload. Time to unload all this stuff at the venue into the loading area. Greg's gone to ask the bar to open the shutter for us. And uh, we're our own roadies. Hello, mate. <laughs> I thought you were out here. Yeah. They're all clear. They're all it's all done. Amazing. Let's load in. Straight through. Let's do Come it. On, follow me. I'm following you. Okay, we're all set up in the corner of the pub. Ready to go. I uh, just need to do a little sound check and then we're off. Greg's on in ears. First gig with in ears. I'll let you know I get off. Look at this.
doing all right. Pub's pretty busy. As you can see, definitely busy and up in here. So yeah, second set on the way. End of the night, gig done, good gig. it was a good gig, just got off to enter the East Lee wet t-shirt, probably going to get first prize, just need to pack all this up, look at the mess, this is what happens, being in a band, just standard, okay, in the yard, Loading the car in the dock. PA's going in. It's the next speaker. Guys are ferrying out the stuff. Everyone else has beard up and gone home. We're still going. Right, we Good are gig. all loaded. We're Good in gig. Car. It's nearly midnight. Ali's, Ali's been driving, we need to get Ali home. <laughs> so we can have at least a beer or two. Yeah. Maybe some crisps, maybe some toast. Yeah, maybe. But anyway, gig done. And it's yeah, 20 to 20 to 12. Right, let's get back. Back at Greg's after the gig. Good gig. My, Very good gig. My first alcoholic beverage of the evening. Ali can now relax. Yeah, because I haven't got to drive anywhere. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Nice. Stay tuned for the next one. Yeah. <laughs> it's 20 past eight on the Sunday morning. Now time to drive all this back to Reading. So it's about an hour's drive. And then I've got to put all this stuff, all my stuff, back upstairs in the flat. And then take the car back to Enterprise. So let's get on the road. Okay, 
So we're back in Reading. Took uh, just just about an hour, slightly less. A uh, good run this morning. So now I've got to unload the PA into the flat. Um, probably four or five trips up the stairs with the speakers. And then I need to take the car back to Enterprise uh, before 4, 11 o'clock when they open with a full tank of fuel. So we're not finished yet. Let's crack on with it. Right, that's all the PA and stuff loaded in. As you can see, I'm a bit out of breath. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to carry up the stairs. So now I need to take the car back to Enterprise. They don't open till 11 and it's only sort of just after 10. So I'm gonna have a quick cup of tea and then take the car back. So uh, see you in a bit. Okay. So that's car returned and uh, all is good. Right, 24 hours later, the job is done. Crazy, isn't it? Okay, so back from the gig, back home, everything's loaded back in. I've had a shower, I've had something to eat. I'm feeling better. I've just still got one thing left to do and that's quite an important thing is about de-prep all the equipment. And what I mean by de-prep is, even though we packed everything down last night, you're doing it in a rush, in the dark, people have had a drink, and even though you do an idiot check, things get overlooked and things don't get noticed. So when you get back, I think it's always really important, and I know bands that don't do this, because you don't want to come unstuck at your next gig or whenever you use the system next, is it's really important to just take everything out, count it in, Rewrap cables if you if you need to, keep them in good condition. Clean any that might have had drinks spilt on them or have got, you know, mucky. Repair any damage, things have been damaged. Plug the speakers and the desk in, just make sure they power up, they haven't been damaged. Zero the desk, as in pull all the faders down, turn all the pots to 12 o'clock, switch any routing off so you've got a clean slate when you start next time. And it just means when you go to the gig next time, you're not chasing your tail. Everything is working and in order and you haven't got that worry that something might be amiss. Also, if you are missing something, you can ring the venue today or tomorrow and chances are they'll be able to find what you've left behind. Whereas if you ring them in four weeks, a month, you know, they've probably forgotten even which band you are. So you'd be lucky if they can find anything you've left behind. So that aside, I thought I'd just um, quickly run through some of the costs that we incurred this weekend on why we do it. So the car hire at Enterprise was £83. And then I spent £20 on fuel, driving everything around. The rehearsal was £40 between us. And then we had to have something to eat before the gig. We got free drinks at the venue because that's part of the deal with the venue. And the venue pay their bands which is a great thing because a lot of venues don't pay their bands these days. There's, there's, it seems okay to not do that. So it was free to get in last night. It always is at Steamtown in Eastleigh. Um, and they operate uh, a tip jar, a card machine that one of the bar staff takes around while the band are on and people can tip you. So, you know, a pound, two pound, three pound, whatever they want <coughs> towards the band. And we normally make 150, 200 quid for a Saturday night, it's normally a busy night. And uh, we don't keep that money. We give it away normally to a good cause. Uh, the tip jar goes to a charity of our choice. Uh, last night it was Hampshire and Isle of Wight Air Ambulance. So they took the money last night. Because we've all got jobs, we've all got careers. You know, we, we don't need 50 quid each. Even though it's nice, we can afford to lose it. So people say, why do you do it? Why, what's the point? because we enjoy it, it's okay to have a hobby. If I played golf, for example, um, I might spend a thousand pounds on some golf clubs. I might buy a, a ping cap and a Callaway jumper or something and go on golfing holidays to Portugal for hundreds of pounds. You know, I, I'd need a golf club membership, etc., And that would be fine. Everybody would accept it. But because it's music, it feels like we've got to monetize it. We've got to make some money. We've got to get as many followers as possible, blah, blah, blah. Well, we don't. 
we don't even have a website. I don't even think we've got an Instagram page or a Facebook page. We just play in pubs. And it's amazing how people will actively come back to see us, you know, because they've had a good night. They don't need to like and subscribe us. They can look on their pub websites to see who's playing. And to be honest, it's our hobby, so we're not worried. We're always playing on weekends, so it's always going to be busy and it's loads of fun. So anyway, with that in mind, I hope you enjoyed this. If you're a gigging band and um, you found this interesting just to see how other bands run their gigs and do their gigs, or if you're just getting into gigging as a band and you wanted an idea of how much it costs and what to expect, I hope this has been useful and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Thanks.